So you wanna figure out what resonates with your customers, but you don't wanna spend any money on ads. I totally get you. So today I'm gonna to tell you about a brand new Facebook feature that was released in Creator Studio, and it's gonna allow you to post or test posts without spending a dime. So the first thing you wanna do is go to Facebook Creator Studio. The dashboard is going to take you to all of the pages that you actually manage. The next thing you wanna do is go to your, um, let's see, go to in the left-hand sidebar content library and then go to post testing. From here you get in the top menu all of the pages that you are allowed to post for. I'm just gonna use my own page so that I don't muck anything up. So the next thing you are presented with is the post testing tool that Facebook literally just released. So the first thing that you wanna do is think about what is it that you wanna test? I recommend unless you have gazillions of fans and you know exactly how to work with multivariate testing, I recommend creating two variations of your test and, ver and only testing one element. So in this case, I'm just gonna use a video as an example and I am going to test two different titles. So let's just pretend that I wanna figure out if straight to the point wording is going to hook people in or if I need to capture them with some sort of like woo emotion. So um, how to test Facebook posts without spending any money. That's probably a little bit long. So test Facebook posts without spending money. I don't know. And then um, this method will save you hundreds of dollars on Facebook ads. Figure out what's working before you um, add your credit card details. I don't know. This isn't a well-written uh, test, but you get the point, I hope. Um, so then I would recommend clicking, creating your first post in full to avoid any errors and then clicking duplicate. All right, so then I like to, if I'm just coming in on an idea, I like to um, test the thing that is the most noticeable first. So probably I would like actually have good thumbnails that if this was real um, and you know maybe one thumbnail would be bright and the other one would be muted or something like that in this case I'm gonna choose the title um, and like this saved J uh, saved I don't know um, Shopify thousands of dollars this is kind of whatever. Um, this one is a little bit more straightforward and this one is a little bit more like there's credibility there in Shopify and yeah, I don't know. It's like weak, but hopefully you understand the idea. Okay, and then the other element, so this A-B test is set up. The only thing you have to do is figure out the test details. So I like to um, classify things by what it is I'm testing as well as um, what the post is about. So then therefore later on I could say, okay, here's all my title tests, here's all my thumbnail tests like that. Um, so um, Facebook post A, B testing. And then you describe like, okay, uh, testing brand name mention and uh, emotional against straightforward title, right? You just basically want to make sure that six months from now, when you see this post, you're not like, oh, what was I thinking? Um, and then what you want to do is choose your key metric for your test. So let's say that I wanted to get people to share this because the person who was able to share it with the most people wins a contest. Well, then my objective is gonna be shares. But let's say I want people to sign up and go to my website, right? Like join this membership. 
probably I want to test li uh, link clicks. And whatever you're testing here is ultimately going to be your main objective probably for your ads or whatever. The other thing you can do is like one minute video views, like, all right, is this video actually good or not? Um, and then you can do people reached, right? Like, is this working in the algorithm? It's totally up to you. Comments and reactions would be like, you know, how are people reacting to this? And you know, how, how many or how often? And then test duration is how long the test is going to run. So you can choose anything from 10 minutes to 24 hours. The longer you keep the test running, the more data you're gonna get. The shorter means you're gonna get some quick results and you know, you're know you less likely to come to like a really extreme conclusion, but then you don't have this like potentially worse headline or thumbnail showing up. I would recommend if you have fewer fans going longer and just going with it as long as you're, you know, okay with both appearing. And again, what Facebook is doing here is they're going to show 50% to one and 50% to the other until they understand which one is going to be better and then you're going to see the results. And so what's great about this is because you is that you can take the better post and you can use it in your ads, right? So if I knew that this saved Shopify thousands of dollars, it's vague, but really, you know, like, ooh, people are leaning in and they, then I would run an ad with that. I wouldn't put that as my ad. And you're then saving money. So you click publish test, you get the test results in the same dashboard and you're good to go. So if you liked this and you want me to come up with another or share another organic A-B testing method, comment below and I will give you another method for testing without spending a dime. Hope you enjoyed this. One more thing to note is that I would recommend having 4,000 Facebook fans or more before you actually do this because Facebook organic reach is limited. So make sure, I would say even 5,000 people, you wanna make sure that they're gonna see this, you know, you have some fans. If you have millions of fans, even better. This is a great hub for you to do this. So enjoy, let me know how it goes for you and I'll talk to you soon.